Hello everybody. Now this video will teach you how to learn about the boundaries, the hard drive support. Now let's open the DFL Seagate from a repair program. Power on the hard drive. Now we can see in the COM terminal. This is the messages output by the COM terminal. Okay, now let's try to enter the F3 T prompt. Ctrl Z. From here, we can see that this is all the boundaries for the hard drive. But this hard drive supports only some of them. So how do we know which boundaries work with this hard drive? Now there is one command called B, B command. We can input any number behind the B. For example, B1. See? Because B1 one is not for this hard drive and it's one wrong number. So the hard drive will report the correct bug rates this hard drive supports. So these bug rates will be supported by this drive. That means when we try to use the COM port to back up the firmware modules or do any other kind of firmware operations, we can use these bug rates. Now how do we change the baud rate from the current no basic baud rate 38400 to other baud rates. Now let's check. For example, we can use B command and 1250000040. Okay? So now we can see we are trying the highest baud rate this hard drive supports. And here we need to select the highest one and then we can enable the COM port. Now let's try to use Ctrl Z again. See, we can still use the command or any other kind of repair command or diagnose commands under this highest baud rate. So it is very easy to use the B command only if users are able to enter the F3T prompt. So we can learn about the boundary list, the current drive supports. Thank you for watching this video.